like you ever fell. Howdy, everyone. Live from Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Charlie Maverick. This is the 16th of February, 2015, and this is the Mavcast. Back at you again. So I left you a couple of weeks in hiatus, but I'm back with a new show, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you'd like to follow the show, please subscribe to the YouTube channel immediately. Tell your friends about me. Share it on all social networks. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the blog. I'll tell you the blog too, just to take care of a little business before we get started. The blog is www.themavcast at blogspot.com. That is themavcast.blogspot.com. Please go there. And also, if you like to uh, donate to the show, show some love, support the show, greatly appreciate it you can do so on my homepage of youtube uh so go there and uh give a donation if you feel so if you like the show if you want to contribute to the success of the show and uh, future implementations and technology and quality greatly appreciate that glad you're here today happy president's day hope you had a wonderful weekend uh we're back at you today midday on a monday and you're like Shouldn't you be at work, dude? I'm like, well, I took vacation. Uh, had a lot going on this weekend. This was a really, really busy weekend for a, a lot of folks across the nation. What do we have? Uh, Valentine's Day, uh, which is huge. Um, uh, we had the NBA All-Star Weekend, which is, again, huge. Uh, what else? We had the uh, another episode of The Walking Dead came on. That's always, <laughs> that's always awesome on a Sunday night. Uh, what else do we have? The SNL anniversary special with Star Power coming out. I didn't watch that yet, but be sure I will watch that. Uh, what did you do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? So open up the Q&A. So anyone that watches the show, or you can you leave it in the comments later on if you're watching On Demand, uh, tell us what you did this weekend that made your weekend special. Special weekend. Well, Hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day. It is a special day for a lot of couples. Uh, you know, not so much for single people, but um, we always find a way to get through it, don't we? Well, I did something special this weekend. I might want to say, uh, you know, I, I gotta gotta share the the uh, news right now. This is the first show that I've done since uh, Charlie Maverick has gotten married on Valentine's Day. So you can see the ring right here. Awesome. Hey, it was an awesome weekend. Um, big shout out to everyone that um, that participated and made it possible. Just wanted to thank everyone right now, my in-laws, uh, my parents, uh, friends and family for the support and thanks. And everyone on Facebook, uh, everywhere, text messages, phone calls, family, everybody that uh, wished us congratulations and blessings towards the wedding. Got married to a beautiful bride. And uh, it's going to be a great life. Next chapter is going to be awesome to the uh, book of Charlie Maverick. Can't wait. Can't wait to see um, how life is going to transpire. So without further ado, we're here for a topic today. I'm back with another Mavcast because that's what I do. And I'm trying to educate you guys and gals on a couple of things and give my opinions and, and share how I feel about things and whatnot. And hopefully you feel the same way. And if you don't, then you can uh, tell me how you feel in the comments. Tell me how you would change uh, things or have different ideas. So if you have watched the show, you know how I go and really random and such. But... Um, if you have not watched the show before, uh, I'd like to welcome you to the mind of uh, Charlie Maverick, which is kind of all over the place, but try to centralize it to one thing. And we're here today to talk about Google Plus. Google Plus. Why Google Plus? Why join Google Plus? I hope I can enlighten you on some things that might help you understand the purpose of Google Plus versus other social networks. Um, give you a use case scenario for it and possibly have you become an active user of Google Plus after the show. So 
Um, why Google Plus? You might ask me why Google Plus. A lot of people have heard mention of Google Plus. A lot of people are not really that interested in Google Plus because they already have other uh, social networks out there that they use, like um, Facebook, big guy, is the elephant in the room. Uh, Twitter is a big elephant in the room, also. Yeah, but people don't really understand or find a use for. Google Plus, like it is the black sheep of the family of social networks, the, the big giants of social networks. Why do people not know about Google Plus? Like every everybody that has an active uh, Twitter account, and a lot of people don't understand how Twitter works either, but they're still at least on there and typing in 140 characters <laughs> and retweeting stuff that they saw, or they're linking it to their Instagram and just sending that feed out there. But a lot of people don't know the purpose of Google Plus. Like, why should I be on there if I'm on Facebook? Like, no one I know is on Google Plus. That is true, and that is not true. So, let's first talk about what I feel makes Google Plus different from the other ones. From a, from more of a, more of a strategy standpoint, right? Like, why haven't you heard of Google Plus out there more than Facebook or Twitter? Like, why why aren't they promoting this on TV? Well, from a strategy standpoint, when you think about Google itself and Google Plus as one of its services, Google Plus doesn't really fit into the, the money-making scheme of Google. Google makes money off of ads, makes money off of search, and all that. So why do they have Google Plus? If you look at Facebook and Twitter, that's their main revenue stream, and they build everything off that. That's their initial revenue thing. Like you, we have to get you on Facebook first. We have to get you active. We have to give you a reason to use it, and then we start to sell you ads. We start to promote things through you. Whenever you like something on a different site, we feed you information. We want to be your source of, uh, we. they want you to be the, their target of all the advertisement. And they get paid off ads too. But they don't have search like Google has search. Like Google started off with search. Facebook didn't start off like that. Facebook started off as a community site for like-minded people that have went to college or were going to college at the time to communicate and to see what's going on, talk and talk and talk and communicate, connect. Um, that's what that was for. But they saw a, a way to make money with it, a lot of money with it. And then they got in with uh, the like button. And whenever you like something, it shows you an ad. That's what again ads and uh, and everything started from there. Twitter is something that was kind of meant for you to follow your favorite celebrity. Uh, so 140 characters, really short snippets of what they're feeling at the time. Rapid idea sharing. They got on there, so you can follow your favorite celebrity. You can follow your your random friends, and you. Um, you have this stream of ideas that are going down chronologically, just streaming going down. They call that your Twitter feed, your timeline, because it's chronologically going in time. And if you look at Facebook versus Twitter, you see that some of the some of the posts on Facebook are not in chronological order, but in most relevant to uh, what they feel to you. Well, Twitter is something like you are sharing random stuff. They push ads to you also. So they found a revenue stream. They push ads to you and sponsors and all that and, and celebrities and recommend things to you so you can be more active. And that's their revenue stream is advertisement also. Um, so how do they get the money for advertisement? They, they go through uh, advertising agencies and make sure that uh, they get promoted on TV with, uh, let's say, The Voice. Let's say uh, American Idol. Uh, a lot of news circuits are using it now as a way to connect with their people. A lot of celebrities use it a lot to connect with their fans. And the same for Instagram, too, which is also Facebook. It is a way for you to feel like you're more personalized or, or really close to the celebrity that you follow or your friends. 
and they tell everything in terms of pictures and not tweets, which is 140 characters. You tell your story or share your life moments in photos. That's a big thing. So they sell you ads there too. You just don't realize it, but it's Facebook. So they're finding a way to push ads to you. So you see what the makeup and strategy of are those two major social networks. So why haven't you heard about Google Plus? Well, Google Plus doesn't need to be pushed in your face because Google, everybody already uses Google anyway. You already, they already get are getting money off of you anyway. So what they want to do with Google Plus and make is make it your hub for all your services, like uh, your Google Docs, uh, which they call Google Drive now. Um, your YouTube channel because they own YouTube. Uh, your photos because of Picasa, they own Picasa, and and a lot of other services. Uh, so it, it's a totally different strategy. They're not pushing you ads like the other two social networks. They are mentioned on a lot of advertisements now because p companies have found a way to use Google Plus to target their audience. And it's not with the ads though. It's funny, it's not with ads. You have to go and follow that, that entity for you to see the promotions from them. It's not pushed to you. It is suggested that you follow them in the little suggestion box, but they're not pushing things on your feed without you knowing. Google already has enough information about you because of all its services, so it doesn't need to take the extra step. It's, it knows what it's doing. It, it's working from the ground up. They, they had more than a decade in, in the game to figure out how to implement this. And they had a few iterations that failed, but Google Plus is the most stable over a few years now, and they have a lot of active users. So a lot of people right now are saying, hey, I don't have any friends on Google Plus. Why I need to use it? It's, it's for a bunch of nerds. And that was the, 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 that's the misconception of it. But that is what the culture was kind of, the early adopter culture when it first came out. It was the heavy Android users that were uh, wanting uh, not to use Facebook because traditionally heavy, hardcore Android users and nerds that keep up with tech, they want not to use Facebook because nerds know that Facebook is evil. If you take a look at a lot of tech bloggers and whatnot, they, they don't use Facebook. They use Twitter, but they don't use Facebook. The privacy concerns and all that and, and their strategy to market to you and target ads to you is sometimes kind of sketchy and wrong. But you could say the same thing about Google, but it's less, it's less obvious to you, right? So the, the nerds were known for using Google Plus first. You know, like, I don't want to be on Google Plus because it's just the nerds. I've heard it everywhere. My wife said it. That's why she really doesn't use it. My friends say it. And, and, and there's more males that are using it now because they're in tech. And females are starting to trickle over because they realize that some of their people are on there and they can share stuff with you. But they're not using it like Facebook or Twitter. Like everybody... It's finding a use case. Like you have all these tools out here. What is my purpose of, do I want a redundancy? Like, am I going to share the same thing on Google Plus that I do on Facebook? Like, why am I using, why am I going to use Google Plus if I'm an active user on Facebook? All right. So first we went over why you haven't really heard about Google Plus, because that's not in Google strategy to push marketing to you. It's, it's more of a hub for your services, right? All right. So understanding that and understanding their strategy versus the other two, why is, what is your purpose to use Google Plus? And using Google Plus doesn't mean you have to stop using Facebook and Twitter. You can use it in conjunction with each other. I use all three myself, and I have a use case scenario for each one. Let's start off. So you can get a, a real good understanding. Let's start off with the, the purpose of Facebook. First of all, I just want to say I hate Facebook. I hate Facebook. But it's a necessary evil because everyone you know is there, right? Everyone you know is there. It's the common denominator. It's the easy access point. It's like you going into the city. 
and and I use this comparison a lot back in the in in the past, but I'm gonna say it again because it still holds true. Facebook is like New York City. You going into Times Square and it's all congested. It's like New Year's Eve. It's is congested and there's a high percentage that you're going to meet somebody that you know because of all the people that are there. Right? Everybody's there. It's like Walmart kind of. Like you know you probably are not are are going to are going to walk into Walmart and you're probably going to see somebody you know. That's why you don't go to Walmart like busted up looking because you're probably going to see someone you know especially in your hometown you're probably going to see someone you know even in a town that you don't even are not even familiar with or not from you might see someone you know because everyone goes to Walmart it's kind of like Walmart it's just, it's a necessary evil you hate using it but you know you're going to get what you need out of it it's like Walmart you're going to know you're going to find what you need but you you hate going to Walmart right and that's that's the that's what is 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 so user friendly about Facebook. That's why people won't leave Facebook unless they really, really are ticked off. I've I've left Facebook a few times, but my purpose of using Facebook is connecting with people that I know. And I talk to, I talk to few people on a regular basis, but sharing personal things, you know, like moments, sharing the wedding photos, uh, sharing life events, sharing thoughtful, you know, posts, things that are sincerely, uh, are sincere for me that, that I share with people I know. That's what Facebook is. You share your life moments and everything, things are precious and, and mean a lot to you there. What's the use of Twitter? Well, Twitter is kind of like, you know, you're watching a football game. I did, this is how I use it. My friends use it. Watch a football game, you're talking crap. You want to tweet a lot. You want to go play by play. You're like, ah, I hate them. Oh, that's a terrible catch. Oh, that's an interception. You start talking crap to everybody on Twitter. Or when The Walking Dead's on or your favorite show's on, you go blah, 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 blah. And you don't do that on Facebook, but people still do it on Facebook. You don't do it on Facebook because it's going to crowd your feed up. And it's not easily found because it's not in chronological order. It's going to get mixed up and lost, and people are going to see things out of order. But on Twitter, it is chronologically going by the time that you tweeted it, so they see what's going on. All right? Makes sense? So you're doing it, you're live, what they call live tweeting. I don't know how you delay tweet. You, there's a way to do it, but who does that, really? But that's the use case for it football game or something funny on TV like that I know everyone's watching the voice does it because they they do like questions and polls today show does polls and whatnot a lot of media giants do that with hashtags and and this easily reportable of the remarks and comments and, and things like that that's the use case for Twitter but what's the use case for Google Plus? Right. Well, Google Plus, as I said before, is a hub for all your services. Important part of Google Plus is I couldn't have done this show in the in the way that I've I am presenting it to you if it wasn't for Google Plus. The show is housed and hosted by Google Plus, then feeds to YouTube because that's one of the services. It is the hub. A lot of people are like, how do I back up my photos? When they're changing over phones, as we do so many, oh, so many times in our life now, because technology is, is going so quickly, uh, phone carriers are offering ways to upgrade your phone and whatnot quicker than you usually do, and you're changing devices a lot, and you want it on your tablet, you want it on everything. And the cloud is a big thing, but you don't want to use iCloud because you can't use iCloud with an Android phone if you have cross-platform stuff. You want it on everything. Well, as I said, Google Plus in Google owns Picasa, so that is an easy way for you to back up your photos. You have unlimited storage if you do it at a slightly reduced 
pixel count, right? It's not going to upload it to full resolution and you have unlimited storage. But I tell you what, every photo I have taken, every video I have taken, it's uploaded there. So just in case I move over to another device, I am never worried about where my pictures and my videos went that I have taken. My precious moments is there. And you think about privacy. Your first question is privacy. Well, if I upload it there, is it automatically shared with everyone? No, it's not. It's it's not it's not shared with everyone unless you want it to be. Right? Unless you physically share it with your circle and other people, this is this is this is gonna stay there for you and only you. It's a backup system. That's what Picasso is. Photo backup. It's been around for a while. So first case, first use case scenario for me is using it as photo backup. Second thing is, which is really cool for me, is I want when I first moved to Atlanta, I wanted to know what was going on. What are the good places to eat? What are things to do? Where where should I go to learn my way around this new town that I'm in about three years ago? And I didn't know. But Google came around that the perfect time. And they implemented features on Google Plus, which, which made it easy for me to find out information. And that is communities. Communities is a big thing. So the first argument, which I brought up early, is people don't. People are saying that their friends, their people, not everyone they know is on Google Plus. You don't need. You are not dependent on the people you know to get the most out of Google Plus. And you're like, that's a social network, dude. Why is it not dependent upon people you know? That is the makeup of a social network. You have to be social. Well, you kind of do and you kind of don't. Because you remember, Google is a search company, a marketing company with ads, and it, it ultimately helps you find things easier that you want to know. So communities are like your Facebook groups, which is really cut and dry, very similar, uh, uh, easy explanation of what it is, right? What, of what it is. So you have communities, like-minded people, location-based, whatever they make it up as. I have a YouTube community I created a Charleston community for Charleston folks to share the, what they like to do, places they like to go, events, um, photos, and, and whatnot of what's going on in Charleston. And there are a couple of other ones that stemmed off of that, that are like Charleston nightlife and whatnot. So when I moved back to back up, I moved to Atlanta and I wanted to know, hey, what am I going to do? I want to keep up with the news, but I didn't really want to go to the news channel to keep up. I want to know what the people were saying. And if I can, for the viewers, this is awesome, but for if you listen to audio, I'm, uh, you might want to watch the video for this portion. But uh, basically, if I give me one second while I make sure I'm on the right screen here. Yep. So basically, if you go on here, th so this is how Google Plus works. If you compare it to, let's say, uh, Facebook or Twitter, you can see that it is very clean, very like elegant, simplistic, and all that. And you can see that the artwork here is very high quality. Um, the posts or whatnot are, they, it looks awesome. But let's go back to the community. The community is right here. And you can search for a community that you want to be a part of. And I have several communities that I'm part of because I like tech. But the Atlanta community is what I was talking about because I went here to get all the news and comments and see what's going on so if you see right here <laughs> see right here they're talking about last year 
uh, with the snow apocalypse and how it looked like the scene from The Walking Dead and just reminiscing back about it, which is really cool. Uh, and these are people from Atlanta. These are people sharing news, thoughts, places to eat or whatnot, what's going on. This is how I keep up with the news. And, and I must say, and I want to put this out there, first of all, if you're worried about ratchet posts, there are some everywhere, but I see some of the most thoughtful posts and high quality photos of posts on here. If you look at look at these photos, look at look, every every post is supposed to have some type of photo on it to make it seem more elegant looking. You can just go down here and you see almost every post has a photo and it looks beautiful. And there's a lot of information on here. You can ask a question to the community and they'll answer back. Let's go to Charleston community, which is not really active because um, groups and people in Charleston really don't know how to take advantage of Google yet. But this is the one I've created of Google Plus on Google Plus community. This is Charleston and basically promoting uh, what's going on in the area. Businesses are sharing things. You can share uh, historic things, uh, what's going on, um, events, whatnot. It's, it's a very uh, intuitive thing to use and it, uh, it, it just makes sense. It just makes sense uh, to use. And that is that that you don't need to follow people, but they they do have things to where you can follow your celebrity. They do have hashtags. What's cool is what you don't realize is that Facebook implements a lot of the things that Google Plus starts. So the things that you enjoy on Facebook, they got the idea from Google Plus first, but they do it better. Privacy's better. You don't have ads clogging your feed. You just don't see random people on your feed that you don't follow unless it's connected from something that one of your followers likes. Which, I mean, you're like, hey, you ever roll down your, scroll down your Facebook feed and you're like, who the hell is this? I don't even know who this is. What What is this? Or you see some terribly, like, like, like terrible post of of beheadings and all that. You 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 don't see that. You don't see it. You might see it at, at a minimal level, but I'd never seen a, a, a like a a just a flood of ratchet things like I've seen on Facebook. But I use Facebook differently than I uh, than I use Google Plus. First, I back up my photos. I create the show on here. I share it with communities. I promote my show on here. I get information about my Android uh, wear stuff, like my watches and all that. I get news. I get sports news. I get news. I get all that from here, from Google+. And it comes just as fast, as not, if not faster, than it would on Twitter. It's clean. The app is very nice. And it just makes sense. And I don't have to worry about my privacy. I don't have to worry about um, hacks because it's Google. Google doesn't get hacked because they're, they're a company full of hackers that just are doing good for society. Like instead of hacking and stealing your identity, they're out there making stuff for you to use to make your life better and just to sell you ads. You don't even know it. It's not in your face, right? It's not in your face. You can have private communities on here like you have private groups on there. You can do anything you want to do. But remember, Google Plus did it first. All right? Google Plus did it first. And I can attest because I was a day one user on Google Plus. I was a day one user. I was the one that was flooding your inbox with invites, telling you to join Google Plus. And once, Google, once people start to use Google Plus, they understand why. They don't. They might not use it a lot, but they use it. If if it's just for backing up your photos, that's enough. And you're worried about, oh, well, Google is blah 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 blah. Back up my photos. Look at iCloud. 
iCloud already got hacked. So you back up your photos on iCloud. What good is that doing you? If you get famous enough, it's going to be out there. <laughs> if, if you get famous enough, it's going to be out there. You can have circles, which was presented before uh, the privacy setting for posts were done on Facebook. So you had circles. So you can have designated groups of friends for designated you know, reasons to where you can share your post with you did everything wasn't public, everything wasn't just for friends, everything wasn't just for you could create a circle, just make it up, make something up like uh we like bean pies. People I know that like bean pies, and you just share bean pie post with those people that are in that circle. <laughs> people that you're following. You put it in the circle and be like, hey, I'm following these people. Family, friends, whatnot. You can share publicly and invite new people in. And the cool thing about sharing publicly, which is different from Facebook, is you, if you share it publicly, someone that is not on your friends list is probably not going to see it unless they proactively search for it. However, on Google+, Plus, it is public and people see it if they search for something like it. It's, it's kind of like how Twitter does it. Like you don't have to follow the person to find it. If you're searching for that topic, you'll find it. And Facebook has tried to work it in there with the use of the hashtag. And they had to use the hashtag in order to implement the search topic and then find people that are talking about that topic. They didn't have it before. It just came out last year. But Google Plus and Twitter was doing it like before then. So this is nothing new to us that have used other social networks. So your use case scenario for Google Plus is endless. It's endless. Hey, you know that year and uh, recap of your photos or whatnot that they make that little video collage thing that that goes through all the precious moments in a year that's on Facebook. They got that from Google Plus too. How about that? How about that? It was there before. Are you worried about using it on iPhone because it's Google? Yeah, it's on iPhone. I use it there too. You can put it on multiple devices. It's beautiful on mobile devices just how it is on a desktop is it free of course it's free of course it's free the majority of Google services are free what does it tie into because because you say Facebook ties into a messenger well Google Plus ties into Google Hangouts it's messenger service and and I must say this there is a there, there used to be a problem with people just looking you up and being able to message you, kind of like to do on Facebook now, but you have to go out of your way to message someone that you found on Google Plus and then go and find them. You have to remember their name and go and find them on Google Hangout. But it, but it ties into each, it ties into Gmail, it ties into all that is the hub for all your services. You can share to your heart's content. It, it ties into, if you're a content creator, it ties into your YouTube account. If you comment on videos, it shares on your Google Plus account. And when someone it, it, it does it as a post. So if you comment on something, make sure if you're like a, you're, if you're trashing someone or you really mean to someone, make sure that your your sharing is not like public public. Because it, I mean, look, there's there's a little less ambiguity with it. You know, that's not that's not what I meant. Uh, un, autonomy. It's not what I meant either. You know what I meant. Um, but there's a little less. There's a little less of that. You know, you st sitting behind your screen name or whatnot, and people being able to not figure out or find you, right? So Google Plus is awesome. 
You should use it. I've been using it for years. If enough people get on Google Plus, and there's a there's a ton of active users. I know the media says there's not a lot of active users. If they do uh, a range of people that are using Google Plus, Twitter, and Facebook. There's more active users on Google Plus than there is on Twitter. I'm talking about everyday activity because there are those communities which are similar to Facebook groups, but better. They're better. They're just better. You know? The memes. You find the best memes from people on Google+. Plus. It's just a fact. You find better memes. It's a fact. And then I share it on Facebook. And they're like, ha, 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 that's great. You know? I share it on Instagram. Ha, 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 that's great. The quality of photos that they upscale. They And, and here's a great thing about and going back to photos. I'm sorry to skip all, uh, all over the place. But going back to photos, it's an awesome thing of what they do to your photos. Not only does it back up photos, it, it goes through an algorithm and tries to what they call auto awesome your photo, which is enhancing it automatically to what they feel that it might it, it, or what it should be. And you can like you can un auto awesome it if you want. You can un auto awesome it. It doesn't matter. They don't care. They don't care. You can edit it after that point. You, it can set that benchmark on the auto awesome. You can just go in there and keep editing and be like, ooh, well, I'm not good at Photoshop, but you can do like minimal Photoshop thump, stuff to it. You can edit it, crop it, blah blah blah. You add filters to it, make it look like it's. Um, Instagram, do what you must to it. And it's awesome. <laughs> Hence, auto awesome. And the possibilities are endless. So, news, sports, communities. Let me tell you what the Walking Dead community on Google Plus is freaking amazing. I just want to say the fans on there are freaking amazing. The Android community, the Apple community, totally awesome. The breaking news that I, from CNN, CBS, and all that is awesome. And the way that they share it on there, it shows a beautiful image on the post that, that uh, they purposely do, and it makes you want to go in and read that. The quality of content, basically what I'm trying to tell you is the quality of content on Google Plus is mounds better than Facebook and Twitter. The spam that you get on Google Plus is way lower than Facebook and Twitter. How many times have you, is, is a quarter of your followers people that don't exist? Like people that follow you on Twitter, they probably don't exist. I, I guarantee you, a, a, a fourth of your followers are not real people or more. They're probably not real people. Same thing with Instagram. It, you know, people just pop up and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to accept you following me if you have it private. And, or if you have it public, they're just clicking and you're like, how do I get all these followers? Well, these are uh, random people I don't even know. So Google Plus, think about it. Just think about it. I'm not. Hey, look, I don't work for Google. A lot of people say, "Hey, you're on there, blah blah blah," and you're you're always testifying for Google Plus. Why should I use it? And I say, why not? Like like <laughs> a very brilliant person always has the rebuttal for a. Uh, philosophical question, right? Like, why should I do this? What is in it for me? That's what people want to know. What is in it for me? What do I get out of it? Why should I do it? And a wise man would say, why not? I shouldn't have to give you a reason to do it. You should give me a reason why you shouldn't. 
because I can just give you a whole bunch of baloney and sell it to you. And then you go do it and you hate my guts and you hate that. But before you try it or you have pushback on it, you tell me why you shouldn't. Because nothing I say is going to give you a reason why you shouldn't. Because I'm going to give you a reason why you should. Right? That's how you get swindled in all these scams. They don't give a reason why you shouldn't. You should know that already. I'm not going to give you a reason why you shouldn't use something unless I'm just hating on it, right? Why, why, okay, why shouldn't you use Google Plus? I don't know. I don't have a reason. Why should you not use Facebook? Uh, spam, privacy. Why should you not use Twitter? Spam, privacy. Why should you not use Google Plus? Well, it doesn't have those issues, so I can't say that. How about that? Would you trust Facebook to auto to, to back up your photos? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Would you trust Twitter to do it? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Would you trust Google to do it? I mean, look, they're cloud services anyway. So if you have documents on Google Drive, you trust them already. There has been no breaches yet. They pay people to go in and try the hack the system yearly. They pay people. They give you a prize to try to hack them. And if you do, then that's they find the um, the vulnerability and they fix it, right? So they don't end up like Sony, <laughs> our Target, our our iCloud, right? So they don't. Am I telling you to trust Google with your life? No. But I'm saying, hey, why the F not? Why the F not? Would you try it? Give me a reason why you shouldn't join Google+. And I'll give you three reasons why you should. And you're probably going to say, yeah, I'm still not going to use it. That's fine. That's fine. You can go ahead and live in the cesspool of Facebook and Twitter if you want. But there's always something on Google Plus which is a, which is a thoughtful post, a thoughtful media post, and a way for you to search things to find information. If you just want to join a community just to get the feedback of people of like interest. Not the chat on there every day. That's not the purpose. That that's that is, that is for a Facebook group. That's not the purpose of community on Google Plus. It is for you to get knowledge, information out of, to share information that you've learned. And in turn, Google uses all that information to help you with search results. Now it makes sense. Now that's, now you understand the reason why they have Google Plus as that. And if you feel differently, if you feel I left something out, please let me know in the comments. Because I don't know everything. And there's a lot of people out there that use it more than I do. But please let me know. Please let me know in the comments if you like the show. If you like the show again, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the blog, themathcast.blogspot.com. If you like to make a donation, I greatly appreciate it. Keep bringing you awesome shows, topics. Later in the week on Thursday, we're going to have K. Ron Brown talking about uh, his journey back to iOS and the iPhone 6 Plus, I believe. Recently, I uh, was using the Note 4, and for some reason, he thought, oh, I need to just go back to Apple because uh, there's something wrong going on. And um, we'll see what is going through his mind, his journey back to his beloved uh, iOS. And, you know, I'm not hating on Apple because I have an uh, iPhone myself, so I might be able to understand. But we're going to talk to K-Ron on Thursday about that on the show. So if you want to uh, make sure that you watch that, there are um, just make sure you just subscribe to the channel, and there is a, uh, there's a feed already. You can just join the event right there. Join the event. It's going to be live Thursday at 9.30 p.m. 
if you have ideas for the show, please leave it in the comments or you can uh, email me at charliemaverick at gmail.com. Tweet me if you like for show ideas also at the Mavcast on Twitter. All right. All friends, family, again, thank you for a wonderful weekend and uh, making it great. All right. This is the Mavcast for the 16th of February, 2015. Have a wonderful Monday. Enjoy your President's Day. Make sure you go get those uh, last-minute sales from the furniture stores because you know they always do that on President's Day. Go ahead and get your new mattress, uh, your couch, coffee table, uh, whatever. All right? I'm out.